flesh. Develop more. Love. Evening, darling. <laughs> it's all right. It's quite all right. I've made a will and I've nearly paid for the house. <laughs> well, I spare you, too. Oh. Mm. How's that rotten cold? Boring. Oh, why don't you get yourself a drink and settle your nerves? Oh, what a good idea. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, I should have thought that was quite obvious. Yes, I mean, did you do it? Yeah, in my life class. <laughs> Mr. Gartside said it shows a lot of promise. It shows a lot of everything. <laughs> do you like it? I'll tell you when I've had a drink. Is it uh, anyone I know? <laughs> Better not be. Mm. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean? <laughs> It's taking up rather a lot of room, isn't it? Well, I thought I'd have it <laughs> framed and then we'll have a hanging ceremony. Oh, it's not that bad, darling. <laughs> we shall have to think very carefully where we're going to put it. Well, I shall be deeply hurt if we don't have it in here. Oh. It's quite obvious, then, why this is called the sitting room. Oh. <laughs> no, I think it's very clever. I was just wondering why you couldn't have done flowers or a bowl of fruit. Well, she wasn't holding flowers or a bowl of fruit. That answers that. Yes. How was your day, then? Oh, a bit like the curate's egg. Oh, that reminds me, I must see to the souffle group. Mother's having supper with us tonight. Oh, good. Um, what did you have for lunch, by the way? Shepherd's pie. Oh, well, you're not getting that here. No? No, a uh, cheese souffle followed by a nice juicy steak. Oh, all that red meat. You want to watch out tonight. Oh. Anything can happen. Really? <laughs> you're going to sweep me onto your camel and out into the desert night. My God, are you psychic or something? <laughs> You've got plans for me on Barnes Common. No, no, I've got this fella coming from Iraq tomorrow at the office. What, a shake? No, 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 he's a business tycoon from Baghdad, name of Abdul Khan. Oh, sounds interesting, uh, lucrative even. Yeah, could well be. He's arriving at Heathrow, so I'm laying on a car, giving him the full VIP treatment, huh? What's he in, oil? No, property. I think he probably wants to buy the Barbican. Oh, good. Let's hope he takes it with him. <laughs> More? No more, thank you, dear. Oh. I've got to find my way back home. Well, you can't go far wrong. You only live 30 yards from the kitchen door. <laughs> when you're old and living on your own, you won't jest about such things. Why should I be living on my own, Mother? Because William might run off and leave you, mm -hmm. as Guy deserted me. Yes, but he's offered to come back. Well, it's a bit late in the day. He's been gone 40 years. <laughs> well, it's not unknown for a couple to remarry each other. Remarry your father? Couldn't trust him for an instant. Nancy, he's 70. What difference does that make? As if we're walking back down the aisle, he'd be winking at the maid of honour. <laughs> Who's that? It's only Sonia. It's only Sonia. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> Sorry to barge in. Hello, Mrs. Penrose. Good evening. That's nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hester, dear, I'm in a bit of a fix. Oh, don't tell me. You've crashed the car and you don't know how to tell John. Oh, you heard. <laughs> No, you see, we're in the middle of a dinner party and we're a little short of wine. How short? One white and two red. <laughs> yes, that's short. <laughs> well, I think we can help you out. Oh, you're an angel. Hang on, hang on. Darling, she's in a desperate situation. Yeah, so is my wine cabinet. Here we are, a white and two red. Oh, lovely. That's not your everyday plonk, you know. Well, I should hope not. I wouldn't want to offend our guests. <laughs> you all right for everything else? Yes, I think so. You wouldn't like me to come and serve, would you? No, please don't bother. Uh -huh. Listen, I must dash. They think I'm loading the dishwasher. I'll uh, pop down to the shops tomorrow and replace them for you. Pop! That wine comes from an end of bin sale in the city. Not dregs. Dregs. <laughs> don't worry. I'll get you the real stuff from Sainsbury's. <laughs> It's like living next door to a mechanical grab. Oh. <laughs> Be fair. If we were short of something, she'd always help out. Yes. She hasn't got anything I want. <laughs> two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, ah! three, four. <laughs> Sorry. I wish you'd warn me when you're going to do things like that. It's like living with a Japanese samurai. Well, I didn't know you were there. Well, I very nearly wasn't. Oh. Look, do you have to do this now? Yeah. I want to get some shut-eye. Well, get in my side of the bed. I don't feel comfortable on your side. What? Come on. What's wrong with it? Nothing. I just feel comfortable here, that's all. I don't want to change. Oh, you're joking. No, I'm not. Well, you're in a rut. Look, 
When you have slept on the left-hand side of someone for 23 years, it becomes almost instinctive. Someone who's someone? <laughs> In my case, you. Oh, good. <laughs> you see, it's natural for the left hand to come over when I'm going to kiss you or hug you or whatever. Oh, yeah, I like the whatever. That's enough! <laughs> Hester, I have a very busy day tomorrow. But I love you with both arms. OK, fine. I'm very happy for you. No, listen, I'm intrigued here. Supposing some glamorous woman said, uh, oh, William, darling, you can come to bed tonight, but you've got to sleep on the right-hand side. What would you do? I don't know any glamorous women. No, I don't mean anyone in particular. Oh. No, I mean completely clinical. I see. Could be anybody. Um, June Allison. Ah, June Allison. Mm. Or my uh, keep fit lady. Is she glamorous? In a chunky sort of way. <laughs> ah. I think I'd stand more chance with her than with June Allison. Mm. I think you've got hidden reserves. Really? Mm. Wish I could find them. <laughs> anyway, look, let's experiment tonight and, and swap over. Oh, look. Oh, no, you sleep that side and I sleep this. Must we? Well, why not? I mean, we haven't got anything to lose, have we? Yeah, but should we risk what we've got? Will you stop arguing? Budge over. Oh. That's it. There we are. See? <sighs> hey? Right. Sad, isn't it, really? Hmm? Well. Well, you've got a sort of deprived right arm, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Every night it lies there thinking, there goes that lucky left arm again. <laughs> you know, I think all these activities have gone to your brain <laughs> and mine. I wonder if Abdul Khan has this problem with his wife. He's probably got half a dozen. Poor devil. <laughs> I haven't even got used to one yet. <laughs> oh. You know, you look quite different from this side. <laughs> Do I? Mm. I'd always thought of you as having a chubby face, but from here you look almost gaunt. <laughs> it's lack of sleep. <laughs> well, what about me? Look, do I, do I look different? No, I'd recognise you anywhere. <laughs> oh, come on, then. Put that right arm over a bit, then. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's better? Yeah, come on. Squeeze a little bit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, the right arm's a little rusty. <laughs> You've got a very strong right hand there. You know, this could develop into a second honeymoon. Yeah, can you remember what you did on the first? Yes. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> uh, uh, three, two, nine, four. Hi, Ma, it's me. Oh, Emma, hi. Are you in bed? Um, yes. Oh, well, we're going to have an addition to the family. You're what? Well, they're going to have an addition to the family. Good God. <laughs> well, these friends of ours across the road had four, and they said we could have one. Oh, it's absolutely sweet. You must pop over and see him. talking about? The kitten. <laughs> How's Dad? Uh, how are you? Relieved. He's very well. Give um, him our love. Yes, he sends his love. I'm sorry if I woke you. No, no, you didn't actually. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, we were just experimenting. After 23 years of marriage, we decided to do something different and swap... <laughs> Hang up. I'm not entirely surprised. Do you think I should ring her back? No. Let her be the one that's left open mouths for a change. <laughs> now then, where were we? Well, that right arm was oh. snuggling in nicely. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Oh, what about the left? <laughs> Tingling. Oh, excitement. No, it's gone to sleep. <laughs> well, we'll complete the audit by the 15th then. Yes. Well, if you call me. Bye. Uh, Mr. Fields. Yes. I was just checking with Acre Cars to make sure they were meeting Mr. Khan at the airport. And? They mislaid the booking. Well, tell them to get another driver out there straight away. Apparently they have no one available. What? Oh, shall I try another firm? No, no, he's expecting someone from Acre Cars. What time's he due? 10.45. It's 10 now. We'll have to think of something. Oh, Mr. Fields, if yes. I might suggest, could Mrs. Fields meet him? Barnes is on the way. That's a thought, Miss Devon. Let's hope she's not jogging, 
painting, sculpting, or retiling the roof. <laughs> Three, two, nine, four. Esther? Uh, who's that? It's me, William. What are you doing? Uh, well, when? Right now. Well, I'm, I'm just going to have a shower. I've been out jogging. Forget the shower. Get in the car and drive like the clappers to Heathrow. And meet Abdul Khan on the Baghdad flight. What, now? Yes, right now. The car hasn't turned up. Well, what does he look like? Oh, I haven't the faintest idea, but if you hold up a card saying Acre Cars, he'll find you. All right. Well, I have to change. No, you have no time for that. It's most Darling, important. darling, just a minute. He won't be very impressed if he thinks your wife drives a cab. Well, then don't tell him. Just get him to the office. Can you do that? Uh, Wilco, Roger. What? <laughs> Who are you talking to? You! <laughs> oh. I'm giving you the jargon, aren't I? Oh, I see. <laughs> Roger and Art, then, sweetie. <laughs> I think we're in for a chance, Miss Denham. Oh, I'm sure we are. I imagine Mrs. Fields is very serene in the crisis. None serena. Let's hope you're fair and short-sighted. Ah. Ica Khan. Mr. Abdul Khan. That is correct. Oh, good morning and welcome to London. Oh, you are my driver. Yes, yes. That is a very small car. Uh, we're a very small firm. Oh. Uh, but exclusive. Uh -huh. <laughs> May I take your case? Oh, I think it might be a little heavy for you. Nonsense, nonsense. All part of the service. Oh. <laughs> Here we are, Mr. Khan. This one? Yes. You're right. It is a very small firm. Well, I uh, didn't bring the rolls because it's very difficult to, um, you know, get it down the narrow streets of the city. Oh. Oh, uh, would you get in, please? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What? Oh, God. Why do you do that? Mr. Field's office is on the third floor. Oh, thank you. A, a most interesting journey. <laughs> I'll just park the car, then I'll, I'll fetch your case up. You are very kind. Are you all right? Yes, yes, I, I don't think it's broken. <laughs> Excellent reports of your company. Oh, I sincerely hope we can live up to them. Uh, then let us waste no time. I have another appointment in Paris tonight. Uh, yes? Uh, Mr. Khan's case. Oh, uh, thank you, driver. <coughs> Her name is Hester. Oh, really? Uh, yes, she is uh, most informative and efficient. I would like to retain her services for the rest of the day. Ah, uh, that, that, that could be rather expensive. Oh, <laughs> no problem. She can take us to our lunch appointment and then... Uh, this afternoon, I would like to visit one of your famous clubs. Well, I just happen to be a member of the RAC. <laughs> there is one recommended to me ah. in uh, Soho. Soho? Oh, that's all right. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, visitors to London should, uh, should see places like the, uh, the National Gallery, shouldn't they, dear? Sir, 
Absolutely, dear. Lady. I, too, enjoy painting, but perhaps next time. Uh, this afternoon, I, I would like to visit the uh, Club Erotica. I see. I am told it is very artistic, very beautiful. Oh, very. Oh, you have been there, Mr. Fields. Uh, well, uh, actually, I, 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 I don't think I have. Either I, you have or you haven't. I haven't. <laughs> then it will be enjoyable for both of us. Yes. <laughs> Look, why don't you uh, discuss it over lunch? You may want to change your mind. Why should we? Well, you might suddenly think, oh dear, I wonder if my wife would approve. <laughs> Why should I worry about my wife? <laughs> Why indeed? <laughs> well, Mr. Fields might. <laughs> but surely you are master in your own home. Oh, yes. Quite often. <laughs> uh, the thing is, you see, marriage in this country is much more a question of give and take. Wouldn't you say so, driver? Not when it comes to visiting clubs in Soho. <laughs> in my country, it is quite usual to be entertained by dancing girls. And in Japan, I have conducted business in the presence of the most delightful geisha girls. <laughs> Here we make do with a glass of port. <laughs> I honestly don't think we're going to get through much business there at the Club Erotica. Then we must do it now. I have a very full programme and my plane leaves at six. Ah, oh. oh, well, that settles it. Uh, you won't finish lunch till three. I have to get you to Heathrow by 4.45 and uh, the traffic it could be very heavy. Yes, she's right, the driver. Uh, I, I live at Barnes, which is very near Heathrow Airport. We often have a hold-up. Do we pass near your house? Yes. Then I would very much like to see it and pay my respects to your wife. <laughs> uh, that, that could be tricky. What, right. what, what day is it? Uh, Tuesday. Ah, it's her day off. Oh. <laughs> what a pity. I have a very special present here for you both. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> for them. Uh, I tell you what, then. Uh, why don't I drive near the house and, and see if she's back? No. Yes, I would like that. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Well, uh, the only thing is, you will, you'll be a bit pushed for time, Mr. Khan. I think you're going to have to forget about Soho. I would prefer to forget about lunch. <laughs> we can finish our business here at leisure and then go to the review and feast with our eyes instead. <laughs> well, that's one solution. <laughs> Call for us in one hour's time. Right. <laughs> and don't worry, Mr. Fields. If I see your wife, I won't tell her where you spent the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> You're very kind. <laughs> Would you mind moving on, please? Yes, I'd love to, but I'm I'm waiting for my husband. Where is he? In there. Blimey, I'd like to see his face when he comes out and sees you lying in wait. Oh, he knows. I brought him here. To this place? Yeah. In the olden days, he used to be content with woman's hour, but not anymore. <laughs> Where to now? A strip club or straight home? Straight home. What some wives have to put up with. <laughs> Do come in. Thank you. Um, we can only stay a few minutes, I'm afraid. Ah. Would, you, uh, would you care for a drink? Orange, grapefruit, a Coke? Oh, no, thank you. Ah. It's scotch and soda. <laughs> Which case, Mr. Khan? Uh, the briefcase, uh, please, Hester. Here. And now, uh, Mr. Fields, mm -hmm. here is your present. Oh. <laughs> A very ancient figurine in alabaster and marble. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, we'll really treasure that. Oh. <laughs> It'll look beautiful on that shelf over there. No, no, <laughs> look better on the mantelpiece. The shelf. <laughs> no doubt his wife will decide. You bet. <laughs> Mr. Fee, mm. what is this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a little overpowering, isn't it? It is magnificent! <laughs> <laughs> 
goodness, Hans. <laughs> what school is this? Uh, the Institute down the road. <laughs> My wife painted it. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife? Yes. She is a genius. Oh, thank you. Your drink. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Your very good health. And yours. <laughs> You know, this painting has everything I admire in a woman. Grace, power, and sensuality. <laughs> How true. <laughs> and after this afternoon, you should be a pretty good judge. <laughs> Is Mrs. Fields a famous painter? Oh, no. I wouldn't say she was famous, no. What price would you sell it for? There is no question of it being for sale. <laughs> And you're not wanting to part with it, but I would pay dearly for such a masterpiece for me tonight at the Hotel Jean Sanc. No, 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 no. We won't hear of money. I'm sure my wife would be happy to give it to you as a gift. Are you sure? Mm. I wouldn't like to embarrass you or your wife by trying to put a price on it. Ah. Just try. But if you would like to tell her that you would crate it out to me in Baghdad, I would be happy to defray your expenses with a check for mm. 500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, very generous of you. Sure, my wife will be delighted. <clears throat> I notice there is no signature. Could you ask her to sign it on the bottom? <laughs> Not in the corner. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Yes, of course. Of course. Yes, yes, of course. William. Hmm? Will you tell me something? Yes. Will you stop doing that, because I'm trying to read? Look, if I hadn't driven you, would you have gone to that awful place? Well, I suppose so. You would, wouldn't you? Well, I don't know. It's a small price to pay for such a vast new account. Mm. Not to mention your little windfall. Mm, but would you have told me if you had? I don't know. If you'd asked me, I suppose? It's a very crafty answer. Why? Well, when have I ever said to you, hello, William, had a good day, been to any girly shows? <laughs> I'm not going to win this argument. Can't blame me for feeling curious. What the devil are you doing? I'm strengthening my chest muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, apart from Miss Denham at the office, you're the only woman I've seen today who wasn't topless. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Before I painted that nude, I, mm. I did another one, but I hid it. Why? Well, I thought you might criticise it. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm no judge. Well, I've still got it, but would you like to see it? Oh, may as well round off my day. Where is it? Under the bed. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Great balls of fun. Who you found it? Abdul Khan. <laughs> I want to see what he'd offer for a matching pair. <laughs> Thank you.